yeah, my beard's all messed up right now. I haven't done anything with it yet. Anyway, I'm supposed to wait until Trump does something awful to complain about Trump. That's the, that's, those are the, the rules that have been pushed forth on this platform, uh, particularly in comment sections. Um, don't complain about Trump un unless he's actually done something. Well, I've complained about him uh, both when he hasn't done something yet, he said something, and I've complained about when he's actually done something. You know. But, uh, you know, those are the rules on this platform when you talk about Trump. But it seems when you have a different subject, it, you suddenly have a different set of rules. When you're talking about games, it's all about perceived threats. You see, they're, they're, feminists haven't actually touched games. You could say, yet. Well, yet. Well, okay, whatever. If that's the case, that's the case. But, um, you know, uh, at that point, I would be uh, very, very sympathetic. But at this point, games haven't been touched. Um, sometimes the controversy behind what some of the feminists are saying about games makes the games have more sales. What we're having to worry about the most right now isn't about what the way that certain games are being critiqued. It's not about uh, trying to uh, ban violence. It's not even about what happened on one game, which was Grand Theft Auto V got banned in Australia. It's about the greed of the companies. There's all the, this, these new ways they're making it so, well, you don't just pay for the game, now you have to buy this, and you have to buy this, and you have to buy this to make the game worth playing, right? Um, there's also how they're, they're not willing to take any chances on, on new types of game concepts, so you're stuck uh, recirculating the same old shit over and over again. And it's also, they, they, they don't want to take any sort of chances. Um, but yeah, if there's, if there's something that gets a lot of attention because feminists are saying, oh, this is awful, uh, th that game's going to sell more. Okay, there, there's, there's no, right now there's, there's really not any, there's not enough chance of, uh, feminists ruining gaming to, to have really any worry about it. The more they complain, the more that these companies can put out stuff that goes against that and make more sales. <laughs>